Right, I just met a group of ladies, could have been 20, maybe, well at least 20 of them. They're called WOW, Women, oh god what do they call themselves, Women, out walking, it's something, I wonder if it's down there I go. No, stay up here. Women out walking. Or maybe it's W, no, what it is, it's W-O-W, -W, Women Out Walking. Yeah, they come from Bristol. They were going uphill. Yeah, this is the track I know now. I would have had to have done that. But I've still got to go uphill, don't forget, on the way back. And then instead of going across the top of Waverley Down on the way back, I'm walking round it. This is, that's plan A. Uh, that's plan A. So I'm just doing a little bit of videoing using Sony. Oh, some people come in. Let's just put it on hold. Um. Right then, I'm walking along the bridleway. It's like a double bridleway. Uh, there's one just through there somewhere. But what I can remember is... Um, look at this views. And the church down there, look. I can't, I'll zoom in, but I probably won't be able to see it. But down there somewhere is the church. Is that it? Yeah, there we are. St Andrews. Got no flag on it today. Well, I can't see it fly out, flying. We've got to climb up that hill afterwards, by the way. We make our way gradually up there. Come out, go up a bit, and then we go round. We'll be going round that later. Later. What we've got to remember, it's only just gone 12. We've actually got time to do this today. But you've also got to remember, there's the parallel path, by the way, up there. But it's good to get on this one to take you straight down into the hamlet of um, Copts and Bishop. Otherwise you could go off at a tangent. Um, but it is there. It's, it, they do run very close, these two paths. Um, you could do either, to be quite honest. That You can do either going up. But I remember coming up this one. So I'm sticking to it because this is where I've got to get out. Um, I've also got to check out the car park area down here. Let's just zoom into the church again. I've got to check into the car park area again. Um, for future. It's another way to park and then walk up, you see. Look at that. Look at that up there. Look, isn't that beautiful? Climbing up on the top of that one. Isn't it gorgeous, everyone? Aren't we lucky here having all this? It's lovely, isn't it? It's all quarried areas, by the way, around here. Quarried areas. Near Crook Peak and Compton Bishop. We've got spare clothes in the car, by the way. Have you? Yeah. If necessary. Tops, spare tops. Is that somebody I can see down there? Really looks like a pair of legs. No, it's not. It's actually a part of the tree, but really look like a person with very long legs. Of course, this could be the boggier drove, but the other one, if you notice, it's disappeared up. It moves, it's moved over. It's moved over now, it's gone, it's gone that way. So we're better off staying here. We might join it again in a minute. Not too bad, this'll get a lot worse. It's always a good idea to get your walks done. Um, 
and of course today I've parked in St. James the Great car park because um, the other one was full so I just thought go and park there um, <laughs> that way Now you can't walk with wellies on, you know, I mean I've walked with wellies on before now. It really hurts your feet after a while. This is just soft mud. This is just soft mud. I noticed they all had sticks with them, the walking, the wow women. They all had sticks. Here's a good view of the church here by the way. And don't forget, like I said, we will be going up. I think we go past that house there and then go up. We go round the village like that. There's a lane down there and then we go up. We don't climb straight up. I tried that once and got stuck in brambles. There's the church then. So I'm going to turn off here and take some photos. There's a lovely views there as well, look. I need to stand on that hill one day, I've decided. Right folks, over and out. We'll be going round that big hill. There's a path halfway up along. We go round it. But we have to go through the village, the hamlet, climb up. But there's the church of St Andrew. I can hear people, but there could be people in their garden. Now this is where we join up with the, the upper path now. So I could have done either. But if I had done the upper path, I wouldn't have got the views like I've got down here. Now in a minute we turn down and we go th we wander through the village to the church there, look. It's a nice picture of the church there, isn't it? Lots of children, I reckon children are having a party. Yeah. Nice place to live. Different world out here, see. Yeah, there's the other path. I'll just take a picture of both paths. There we are. Either way. So there's a junction point there. Lower path if you want lots of views. Slightly muddier I expect. This is uh, Compton Bishop or it could be Bishop Compton. I always get them muddled up. St Andrew's Church. Beautiful. When, when I first came here it was a hot summer's day. Yeah, I can see children playing football in the garden down there. Um, it was a hot summer's day. And I, I think I cycled here the first time I did it. I got a feeling I cycled here. I was much fitter back then. And I um, sat on a bench near the church and I had a picnic and God, it was fantastic. I, I couldn't believe it. And I was actually on a mission looking for ancestors of my cousin in Canada um, who's dead and she passed away quite a few, well, it's about six years now, she passed away, and I was doing some family tree work for her in Somerset, and um, so it brought me to this church, because she's, she's, all the little churches around here, she's got family connections to, through her Somerset family, that lived on the Mendip Hills, and they were agricultural labourers, miners, um, that sort of thing, back in the day. Quarrymen. Eventually they moved into Western Supermare, her, her family did, and I found all the houses they lived in. I found her, one of her great, great, it could be great, great, great grandmother's grave. We'll be going down there in a minute. And, um, yeah, we've got to go through a gate. Got to get down there. Um, yeah, and she, uh, I think I've got to go down there. Yes, you have, Sheila. You've got to go down there. 
so um, just go down so I found various houses and homes where they lived took photographs, put it all on the tree for her dug up all the censuses and birth marriages and death stuff because some people in her family were just, weren't, had never come across it but they'd never done their tree either they hadn't done their tree the only bit they'd done is a little bit when they'd emigrated to Canada um, just before the First World War that's the only thing and I found the grave for them of our shared ancestor up in uh, Manor Park Cemetery, London I found um, uh, our shared ancestor <sighs> Jane Yardley Knee Fletcher no, Jane Fletcher Knee Yardley, that's right and they also provided lots of information about the funeral so we shared stuff. Barbara used to share things with me quite a lot. We had a good relationship. But she was ill. She was ill. And but we used to communicate across the pond, she used to say. We, we, we never actually got round to phoning. It was the early days with the internet, actually, back then. We were both learning. But we used to do email, and I've kept all her emails. And I've uh, copied them, and <clears throat> some of them I've put on the tree to save for posterity our communication, how we, the two families linked up. Those emails were very important actually, um, linking us together. And even some of my children used to communicate with her. But like I said, some of them, I don't know, some of them weren't quite so friendly. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, some people don't, they think it's too private to do people's trees. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I have put in a request for some of them to make friends on Facebook, but um, at the moment, no, no reply. I've got no idea why that is, but I know I had to really go out of my way to do all the digging around to verify the connection with the Somerset crew. And it's, it's definitely them. Dates of birth, everything. Marriages where they lived, there, and they do get spelling errors. That's why the, that's where the suspicion came. The spelling error of the woman. Yeah, what it is? Um, their great grandmother died. She had a head injury. Now, it is a bit strange that he went off to Canada really quickly and married again very quickly. And when I got the death certificate, it showed she had a head injury. So did he kill her off? Maybe they didn't like that bit. You know, there was no inquest. And he slightly changed his name, by the way, from either Hell to Hill or Hill to Hell. Yeah, he slightly changed his name. But some of the children from that marriage went with him to Canada. And I've, I've got all that recorded. And Barbara, when I told her all about it, she was fully acceptance of it because of the proof I had. So, yes, exciting tree. You don't know what you're going to dig up. That's why I'm coming to this church, because it's connected to my ancestors in Canada. And Barbara had Wookiee ancestors, they're buried up here. I've taken, I've done all this before, don't forget. It's not new. People have got their pumpkins out, ready for Halloween. Yeah, years ago when I lived in a village, 
I used to get really involved in the Halloween stuff. But once you live in the town, it's not quite the same as a village community. Um, they do put things on, but it's not the same as living in a village. <clears throat> right then, so here we are, St Andrews. Lovely church. And like I said, I, when I first came here, I cycled here. And I sat on the bench and had a picnic, and it was dead peaceful. It was summer, it was baking hot. I just sat there and I, could, I was breathless. Not from cycling, but from the beauty of this beautiful little place. Over now, I'll do some more in a minute.